Okay, I have to tell you a story that's kind of, I don't know, humorous, but not very funny because it was really uh, an interesting experience for me. So I decided after I'd gone fly fishing that I needed to go out by myself and do this because I'd learned a lot of cool things. So I thought, you know what? I've got all these amazing flies, as you can see here. I, why not go out and uh, start using them? So I went out there and started, you know, casting out. I was doing everything I thought perfect. And I kept, you know, putting this fly out there, putting this fly out there, and I could see fish, but none of them were biting. And I just thought, oh my gosh, what do I do? You know, so I kept, kept going, kept going, kept going. Finally, you know, Kobe's like, Dad, just change the fly. And I was so bound and determined that this fly was going to work. I mean, I knew I had the right fly. It worked last time that I didn't want to change. So he changes his fly and he starts casting it out there. And he gets a little better response, but still doesn't catch any fish. I'm thinking, eh, whatever. But you know what? He did it again. He tries it, tries another fly, and instantly he just starts catching fish. And I'm using the same one, trying to beat a dead horse, you know, and it just wasn't working. So my point here for you is, sometimes in our marketing and our strategies, we do not like change. So when I'm out speaking or I'm trying to teach people how to build these programs, they want to do the same thing and they want to beat something to death. They can't, they can't get it out of their minds that they need to change their marketing strategy or they, they've really got to implement social media instead of traditional marketing all the time. So they keep throwing that same fly time and time again and they don't get a response and they're frustrated. When if they would have just taken a few minutes like Kobe did, changed that fly a few times and tried a few things, they could have pulled some fish in. And when you start pulling those fish in, then you've got time because you're catching to try some other stuff. So don't be afraid of change. So when I'm out speaking people all the time, I have to tell them, don't be fearful of change. You've got to change sometimes. And sometimes you need to change multiple times throughout the day. Doesn't matter. Once you learn the pattern, then things will become easier for you. Okay, so if you ever listen to me on a keynote speech, you'll be able to hear me talk about change and not being afraid to change and try different things. If you're building a program, a membership program or a continuity program, sometimes what's working today will not work tomorrow and you've got to change it up. Don't be afraid to change. Get that done, get the difference in response, try some stuff. It'll pay off for you in the long run. So, all about change. Thanks.